Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you uh, how to represent data in the form of the chart in ASP.NET Core and it's a very simple you can say. So here we have a uh, month of the uh, data we can display it and this, these dots are to represent the data. So here we have the month of the February, February. So the data will you can say that sales is 300, amount of the sales is 300 and sales is 400, 500, 600 like that in the month of May and again down to 400 looking like that you can see. So uh, th these are the representation of the chart in the data format and data comes from the database table and you can see here we have a data table, uh, uh, database table. So just I want to represent the data in the form of like that 300 400 500 600 and 400 in the month of uh, in the month of june okay so these are the month of the june you're looking that june 2022 sales 400 okay so how to represent that data and the dates so first of all uh, create a model with the date and the amount so the model is looking like that so here we have a model uh, in the models folders here we have a sales data so id date and amount after uh, here we have a uh, you can say that here we have a class and add this class in the uh, in the application db context so here we have application db context sales data and just to create a table in the database table looking like that sales data okay now after filling the data in the database table by using the sql server so here we have filling that data uh, you can now you can just add these data in the database table okay that's fine now just uh, i'm going to the sales controller after that create a new controller that is the sales controller and in the sales controller just pick the application db context first of all and after that uh, index method is there so sales context or sales data dot to list just i want to get all the data in the form of list so here we have a list of the sales data and just render to the index.cshtml uh, file and where is the index.cshtml looking like that. So uh, here I'm using actually uh, chart.js file. So what is the chart.js and chart.js is actually existing in uh, CDN JS uh, that chart.js will be used uh, in, the, uh, in, in your code. Okay, and after that, you can say that uh, here we have a list of the uh, sales data that is the model, and here we have a canvas to represent the chart. Okay, so canvas ID is sales chart. Just I want to assign only ID in the CS, uh, in the CSS table file. In the script tag, you can say that document dot get element by ID that is the JavaScript code. So just pick that ID sales chart dot get context get context I want to say that 2D okay so chart is represent in the form of 2D two dimensional and chart is new chart create a chart object first of all in the form of chart in the chart we have some uh, parameters like uh, first the parameter is ctx just defined uh, in the new chart that is ctx that is two dimensional array in the canvas and here we have a parameter that is the chart type is line I want to take and uh, data and data comes from the database table. So here we have a label. So HTML dot row first of all define at the rate HTML dot row JSON dot serialize model dot select and model is list of the type. So uh, list dot select uh, that is from the model sales data D dot date dot to string m m m i mean to say that uh, january february march looking like that and the y is the for, for format so here we have the 2023 looking like that in the represent to to list and data sets label is sales like that and data in the data sets uh, in the data we have the labels that represent the dates uh, here we have a january february march april 2000 these are the data and these are the datas data sets you can say so here we have a data sets label is sales 
or you can say represent the label is sales like that and <coughs> data is come from html.row json.serialize model.select again d dot amount okay so here we have to represent the data like that these are the these are the data okay and background color is looking that border color is that and border width is that okay options if you want to take it options scales y axis and ticks and begin at zero it's true begin at zero is false just i want to set then i mean to say that your representation of this line of code will be not it will be false okay so here we have looking like that okay so it's not uh, reflected uh, you can say that uh, it's not uh, affected on the true and false but it's true when if you set the zero data in the database table so here we have a options okay so uh, by using this line of code by using this uh, js you can just add your uh, chart in your database table okay so you can do it thank you very much for watching this